It's my pleasure to introduce Diane and Rick Pollock, grateful patients of Virginia Hospital Center and longtime Arlington residents. Diane and Rick, thanks for taking time to join us today. Hi, I'm Rick Pollock, and as you can tell from this accent, it's a Brooklyn, New York accent, but I've lived here in Arlington, as Diane often reminds me, for over 35 years. And uh, I'm very glad to be here and part of the Virginia Hospital Center family. Hi, my name is Diane Pollock. I'm a lifelong Arlington resident. I've lived here my entire life other than college, and Virginia Hospital Center is very important to us. One of the things, uh, as president and CEO of the American Hospital Association, I often get asked in a variety of different forums is, hey, you know everyone. Where do you get your care? You can go anywhere. And my response is always my local community hospital, uh, the Virginia Hospital Center. I have great confidence in them, and uh, I've been a loyal patient to them, as my family has over the years. On the Protect the Heroes Fund, uh, when the pandemic began to hit, uh, we found that there was an outpouring of support uh, for our frontline healthcare heroes. The nurses, the doctors, the physical therapists, uh, the respiratory therapists, uh, the people that uh, keep the rooms clean and serve the food. And uh, a lot of people in this country wanted to help. And thanks to the American Association of Health Philanthropy and the Creative Coalition, which is an organization that represents a lot of actors, uh, they created this fund. And this fund really is a way in which people can go to a portal uh, across the country, select their individual local hospital, and make a contribution to them uh, to help us, uh, particularly when it comes to purchasing protective, personal protective equipment. Uh, which was uh, at one point a, a very uh, scarce item, and it continues to be a concern in terms of our supply chain. Uh, we were also pleased that the Major League Baseball Association, the Players Association, not only gave an endorsement, but a substantial contribution as well. In addition to that, uh, and this one really was interesting, the National Bobblehead Museum uh, produced bobbleheads of Dr. Anthony Fauci, and they dedicated uh, literally a portion of uh, whoever bought those bobbleheads uh, to the Protect the Heroes Fund, and they've helped us raise uh, over $100,000. So it's a way for everyone uh, across the nation to express not only their recognition and their thanks uh, to healthcare workers, but also a way to help them. I uh, began uh, my time here in Arlington, 1955, and by then it was a small hospital. Now it's, I think, four times as large. Um, still a community hospital, even though it's a fabulous, well-known hospital, still my hometown hospital. It's our local community hospital, and that's why we rely on it for the care of ourselves and our entire family. Um, having something close by that you know is going to give you good care is always accessible and a very reassuring feeling that you can come in when you need something and know you'll be taken care of. Can I just add that uh, I've also been a patient here on several occasions and it's always been a positive experience. Uh, not only have I always had good medical outcomes, which is key, but the staff is just phenomenal. Um, everybody you, well, you encounter um, uh, brings a, a passion for uh, quality care and is absolutely committed, friendly, and caring. Um, and that really starts from the top with leadership in this organization and the great leadership that Jim Cole provides because he helps create that kind of culture along with so many of the leaders in this organization. Um, that's why this, uh, this hospital is so special. And if I could just say one more thing about that, we've been here, like I said, my entire life. I've had my parents, obviously, were here when I was growing up. Rick's mother has come to visit us from Brooklyn. We have children, we have grandchildren. All four generations of our family have been here at one time or another, and every time we've had quality care, good outcomes, as Rick said, but also you really feel like you're part of a family, and that goes a long way to helping get you into a better frame of mind for health.